When I lived in Washington, D.C., I loved being constantly surrounded by the glorious, majestic buildings that grace its streets. But at any moment, I could turn a corner, and there, staring me right in the face, was another kind of monument, a cold, gargantuan bunker of harsh concrete. This alarming contrast is one that anyone can see across the country and across the world. That architecture has, over the past century, moved away from the classical ideals of beauty and toward a sterile utilitarianism that defines modernism. So what happened to beauty? Why aren't we building beautiful things anymore? Well, the answer is more than just the changing of architectural fashion. The brutalist style of these modern buildings is rooted in a utilitarian and even Marxist philosophy that boils down to the belief that man does not have a divine origin or destiny. That we're just raw material to be shaped by an all-knowing and benevolent state into a new utilitarian society. How fitting, then, that modern man should live and work and study and even worship in brutalist buildings. Buildings that are designed not to convey old-fashioned ideas like dignity or grace, but to get a job done as efficiently as possible without any regard to beauty. When society accepts these Marxist ideals, it embraces the utopian vision of a new man, a man no longer reliant on divinely inspired truth and morality. But as people of faith, we know that there's no such thing as the new man. Like it or not, we're the same flawed creatures we've always been. Human nature is not perfectible, at least not here, and not by us. We need ultimate truth and beauty to help us rise above our sinful fallen nature and to lift us up when we succumb to it. The classic, awe-inspiring structures that we still admire today were born of the desire to honor divine creation in our daily lives, meant to act like guideposts, pointing to a higher power, a beauty that mankind can and should strive for. Architecture represents much more than just the artistic style and functional design of a building. When we stumble in our moral lives and seek reconciliation, it matters that we experience forgiveness in a sacred space where the very walls illustrate God's mercy. When we swear an oath to honor our nation's constitution, it's important that the buildings that house our constitution and its government are just as honorable. When we return home after a hectic day at work, we want to be refreshed by the love of our family and the comforts of our domestic haven. Let's get back to creating beautiful buildings. Buildings that point to something bigger than us. Buildings that point us to the good, the true, the beautiful, and ultimately to their source in God. I'm architect Eric Bootsma for Edify. We can see modernism's ability to rob architecture of its beauty. But what about our broader culture? There's a steady decline in the beauty and morality of art, literature, movies, and TV. In a lot of ways, this is Marxism at work again in the form of wokeism. How should we understand this wokeism and how to respond to it? Christophonic has all the answers for you in this next video. Click here to learn where exactly wokeism comes from and how to debunk it. <laughs>